Welcome back guys. So as you see here we have a map that shows the average house price for the cities inside Orange County. And the map is showing the difference between the cities and the price using the colors. The colors start from green all the way to red and we have five different classes here. Half a million to 750,000 and 750,000 to 1 million and then 1 million to 1.5 million, 1.5 million to 2 and anything more than 2 million show up on red color. So our goal in this video is to see how can we do this using Sympology. So when we go to our map, you see that our layer, our entire layer have one kind of Sympology that we can change as we saw before. But right now we want to give each feature a different Sympology based on the value of the average house price. And we do this by right click on this layer, we go to Sympology, and as you see here you have different options to create Sympology for your layer. And here in the primary Sympology, here we have a single symbol which is the default for any new layer but we want to create it to look exactly like this so in order to do that we will check the options we have here we have so many different options that can be applied to points polygons or lines and you can create charts you can create specific graphs for your map based on the attributes but for the objective of trying to make a map looks like that we will choose create graduate colors and graduate colors will create classes using the values of the average house price and for each range of value it will give it a certain color so when we choose this one you will see that right now we have automatic classes created for us you can add more classes or remove some and here we can choose the field to be average house price and we will keep the normalization none and the method the same way there's different options here that you need to read each one of them to know what it does for you and here we have five classes automatically by default it gives you five but you can add more classes or you can make it less but we need five classes right here one two three four five and we will try to make our classes to match exactly this values right here and here we will choose our color scheme to be exactly from green to red so let's try to find the one that match our need here's the one we need from green all the way to red so we will choose it and then the smaller numbers will be green go into yellow orange and red and we will see how can we customize these colors to look exactly like our map but let's first define our classes so here we will define our classes values so the first class is from 500,000 to 750,000 so we will define here anything below 750,000 show it with this color and here 1 million and here one and a half million and here two million anything smaller than five million and bigger than and bigger than two million so let's change it again seven hundred fifty thousand this one is one million and one and a half million two million and Five million so now anything below this number will show in this color so let's match this color to our map this one is a very light green so we can come here and make sure you right click and right click and choose light green like this and the next color is yellow so right click here and choose light yellow and the next one is orange light orange and then darker orange and then red so let's see if that looks like our map close enough to our map you can keep changing it and change the colors however you want to look exactly like how we want it but here we have the values right and here we define the labels for these classes so as you see here on our layer we have a label right here you can change this label from here or you can change it from here as well so here I can type anything and when I press enter you'll see that it will change here or I can change it from here as well and press enter it will reflect here so you can change the labels here and we want our labels to look exactly like that because we are going to use this as our legend for the map when we try to finish it in the layout. So here we will add dollar five hundred thousand and seven hundred fifty. And now you see that our labels looks exactly like how we see it on the map right here. So here it said plus instead of bigger than. So I will change it 
two plus enter. So now we change it our symbology. Let's make sure we save this edits because we don't want to lose it. Let's say yes. And let's see how can we convert this map and add the legend. And that's the last thing we will. And we will go to create a new layout and we will add a landscape A4 layout. And now in the layout, we will go to insert, select the map frame so we can add our map and we will choose California and make sure that you define the size of the map to fill up the entire layout. And then as you see here, now we have our map, but it's tilted a little bit. We need to change the rotation and we need to change the background color. To do that, we right click here and go to properties and it will open the properties tab on the right side. Uh, you have different options to change the properties of the layout, but we will go to the display tab and here we will change the background color to something like off-white similar to the paper map we have. Uh, we can make it a little bit more lighter by going to color properties and make it a little bit more lighter like this one. And make it like that. Say OK. You'll see that the background is changed. And also when you try to drag this layout right here you are dragging like a picture of the map you're not dragging the map itself so you're not panning in the map we need to zoom in and out and make sure that our map is filling the page so we can right click here and say activate and this activation will allow you to work on your map on the layout similar to like when you work on the map in the map tab right here so when i click activate now i can zoom in i can zoom out like i'm working on the map and here I can press C on the keyboard and pan my map like I pan any other map or I can hold my right click on the mouse and I zoom in or out to make sure my map fits exactly the way I want it. So now the map looks very similar to how we have it right here. Maybe we need to like rotate it a little bit so we can uh, cancel the activation. First you need to cancel the activation for the map so you go back to activate on the layout and the way to do this is by going to layout tab right here and say close activation. So now after you close the activation when you zoom in or out you are zooming in and of the entire layout and when you right click and say properties it will take you to the properties of the layout not the map. So here we can go to options and see where is the rotation at and here we have a rotation so let's make it 10 degrees and that looks very similar to how our map looks like the last thing we need to do is to add a title and add the legend right here so we will go to insert and we choose to add a legend and then you draw where you want your legend to be so I'll put my legend here and as you see here the legend show exactly like how we have it right here and you can also change the symbol if you want one of the things also you can do is you can go take a snip and shot like taking a screenshot of this legend right here because we know it exactly look the same like how our maps looks like so we can come here and paste it right here and it will look like that so I can put it on top of this one and this is how my legend will look like you can add the legend from the map or you can add picture and right now the last thing we want to do is to add this text here so we will add a title let's add a text right here I want to say this is so big so we can come here and change the size so let's come here and say make it 26 for now we say apply and we type here I'll say yes commit my changes I'll take it here and say I want to change this text to be average home prices in Orange County and we will put our text right here so here we have our text so let's make sure that we have a separation on the lines so we will put this here and this here and we will do that and we change it like that here and we can put it over there and go to the text symbol make sure it's tile bold and make it bigger let's say 35 and say apply we will say yes here and it will look very similar to how we have it on our map so you can change this label however you want you can change the color you can change the size you can change put it underline you can write anything you can add as many labels as you want but now we have our layout looks exactly like how we have our map right here and you can print this map right now and you can share it with anyone or you can convert it 
to a PDF. So that's it for advanced symbology and how you can use the values of your fields for each feature to give it a certain color on how to make classes to create something similar to this. And of course, if you have any questions, please let me know and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.